as we have been walking in this series through the disciples this morning, it lands upon Simon the Zealot. Yes, Curtis. Can I just, I just want to also bring up that we've all had some great business week. Yes. Yeah. Moms. process of, of needing a touch, and you started a treatment that was supposed to beat this, and instead your health went completely the other way for a long time, and, and now God is touching your body, and so we're thankful for that, and, and so today when we talk about the zealot, we're talking about us. Simon the zealot is often referred to as the zealot as, as to distinguish him from Simon who became Peter. Um, and he is often called Simon the Canaanite, as in this scripture of Matthew 13 with the list of the 12. And, and the, what, what this tells us about him is he, is he is only named for his zealousness. He is only named for the fact that, that he has something, whether it is a political or it is a spiritual or it is a law type of outreach. He is named the zealot. And the zealousness that he carries moved from potentially a political standing where he stood in opposition to the government, to where he stood in support of Christ, to where he stood in a position of love. Think about this. Simon the Zealot, who would have been a polit political activist, was placed in the same grouping as Matthew the tax collector. And through the power of Christ, they overcame their differences and they loved one another. And so this morning as we gather, this morning as we think through the possibilities of of going into the school systems and praying for them. Does that mean that we support everything that our world supports? No, but it means we support them through the love of Christ. And so we gather around and we gather in prayer knowing that our God is strong, knowing that our God can deliver cancer, our God can deliver death, our God can deliver us from anything that is beyond our power. Our God can do. We'll look in our next series at the, some of the miracles that Jesus performed where he even brought Lazarus up from the grave. So he is capable of all of it. And so this morning as we prepare to go out, I want to, I want to go out in a place of strength where we're going to the schools and we're praying for a special touch. And the principals and the school administrators, they know we're coming. I connected with them two months ago and they were like, please do this. This is so cool. And so... Um, as, a, as, a, as a way of supporting them um, with also out, without crossing political lines, we're going to be going around the outside instead of walking through the inside of the schools. Um, and, and most of, the, most of the, uh, the leaders were okay with us going inside, but they're part of their own churches, and they were going to be gone this morning, so they're not there to open up the doors. But we're going we're gonna to respect the boundaries, but we're still going to go. And so this morning, I'm going to invite you um, back up just a second. Uh, often during this time frame, people are going, but uh, when are we going to take up like offering and things like that and the penny march and those kind of deals? Um, that's not the focus of today, but if you brought something and you wanted to leave an offering or a gift, and when you leave, they're on the back table right before you go out. So if you want to do that, great, but our purpose for gathering today whether we make budget or not does not matter to me. Our purpose for gathering is to do something for our community. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to sing one last song. And I'm going to invite you. Um, here are the schools that we're going to go see. We're going to go see East Elementary. And Dale and Kathy Harriman are going to be kind of our leads on that. And so Dale and Kathy, would you guys come and join me and just kind of stand over here on this side? We're also going to go to Pendleton High School. 
uh, and Ryan is going to lead that. So I'm going to ask Susan, Suzanne, would you come and stand in his stead right here um, so that people can see. Um, for our kids, Hannah is here. Uh, if, you, if you are great taking your child to these locations, we are great with you doing that. If you think they are too immature and, and they're just <laughs> going to be a hindrance to you, uh, Lisa Witzkin is going to be hanging around and Amy Saltzgaver. And so the nursery is going to be open for those kids. But our, our children's church is, is going to be dismissed for this morning so our kids can be a part of that. Uh, Pendleton Elementary and Intermediate, uh, I'm going to be leading that group. And so, Amy, would you mind coming and standing here in the gap and, and kind of representing uh, that, that school and that group? And then Maple Ridge, and uh, where Curtis and Jennifer Johnson are going to be leading that group. And so I'm going to ask Curtis if you would come over here and stand. Uh, and during this next song, I'm going to ask you to come forward and worship and gather in with one of these groups. They're up here in order. I had them stand in order so that you would know which group is which. But I would also ask that you do your best to kind of keep them even so that every school is covered in prayer and every, every school is, is, is taken care of as we pray together. Um, and so uh, as we sing this next song, we'll say a quick prayer and Ryan's going to lead into the next song. And, and we're going to worship together as you come forward um, to stand with these groups and then we're going to pray a, a prayer of blessing as you go out. Uh, that's right. Is there still an activity for those who can't? Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Uh, if this morning you aren't physically able to go out, that is okay. We have something for you, too, as well. Uh, we have some cards printed up that we're going to send to each of the school principals to let them know that what they have meant to us today and that we're praying for them and they're, they're written in a way for them to share. And so there's going to be cards back there. We would just, just ask that you write a prayer, write a scripture on that, and sign your name, and that will be mailed out for, for them as well. And so if that is you this morning... Uh, just as soon as we get done with our, our closing prayer, uh, if you would meet me at the sound booth, I'll give you some quick instructions and we'll be on our way. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I forget all kinds of things if it weren't for people around me, right? Uh, we're going we're gonna to attempt to make it back here around 1145, and you are all invited for a lunch pitch in. Uh, if you didn't bring anything today, that is okay. We have sides, we have desserts, we have drinks, uh, and we're cooking uh, hot dogs and brats in the back right now, and so uh, we have plenty of food for everyone. I think we have 60 brats and 50 hot dogs, so you can fill up today, all right? So, all right, let's worship together, Ryan, um, as, as you come forward and join a group to go in prayer.
uh, let's pray together and, and let's head out and, and let's break every chain. Father, we ask for protection at this time as we go out. Father, as, we, as we're carpooling, as we're gathering together, we just ask that you'll watch over us as we travel. But more importantly, Father, will your spirit be present in the schools starting tomorrow? Will your spirit lead and guide each teacher, each administrator, each staff person, and each student? God, will you be there and minister to them? And will today make a difference in their lives? Father, we release you upon our school system that the world might be changed through you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, go and give it to them. Go and give them heaven. Yeah. <laughs>